Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, finding the words to say when someone passes away is definitely not an easy thing to do. We obviously care about our friends and family when they're grieving, but what exactly do you say or what do you do when they're just overwhelmed with sorrow? We're going to find the answer to that question this morning from professional counselor, Elisa Bishop Becker. Alisa, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Thank you for having me back. I really enjoy speaking with you. Well, I always enjoy hearing what you have to say. Mm -hmm. And Alisa, this is something that's so difficult. What's your advice for someone to say to someone who has just experienced a death? Um, yeah, you, you're right. It is difficult. And you, you would wonder why, since everyone does experience loss, why do we have so much trouble with it? And um, people just are not taught mm -hmm. what to say or what to do. And, and often they're afraid of saying or doing the wrong thing because they don't want to hurt the people that they care about. So the first thing uh, one thing that I was taught by a counselor friend of mine that I never forgot a saying, and she said, listen, if you're having a conversation and you hear two voices, stop yours. And that's the first thing. I always think about that. Um, people who are grieving very much appreciate somebody who is just willing to sit with them and listen and let them talk and let them say and, and, and um, express what they need to. And often people feel like, I want to do something. I want to help this person. I want to make it better. I want to make it okay for them. You can't take the other person's pain away. But you can listen and that is really key that's number one. that's number one if you can't think of any words to say mm -hmm. don't say anything mm -hmm. just listen just ask you know how are you doing tell me about it tell me about how you've been feeling lately mm -hmm. like that um, I brought some notes so I wouldn't forget anything remember also that every grief is unique so you may have been through a loss. You may have found some things that helped you. Um, it's helpful for the, gr for the person that you're speaking to for you to tell them about those things. But don't think that it's going to be as it, it's going to be the same process. The same things are going to help them that helped you. For example, if you say found a lot of solace in uh, in, a, in going to church just as an example. Um, don't put it in terms of, you should do this mm -hmm. because it really helped me. Or you must read this book because when I read it, it just changed my whole um, attitude. It's not necessarily going to be the same for them. So let their grief be their grief and honor the fact that it is theirs, it's not yours. Um, don't say, this is a big thing, don't say, call me if you need anything. Everybody, everybody wants to say that um, because they want to be helpful. But the problem is that someone, especially if they're at the beginning of their grief process, first of all, they're probably not going to remember that you said that or who said that because so many people are going to be trying to uh, are going to be talking to them and interacting with them so they're not going to necessarily remember that they're also n not probably going to have the energy mm -hmm. to to pick up that phone and say you know, I really could use somebody to come over and clean up my kitchen because it's a mess and I just don't have the energy to do it. Just go over mm -hmm. and help clean up the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, go over and or call and say, do you need a ride somewhere? Or I'm on my way to the grocery store. Can I, uh, can I pick up something for you? And also remember that the grief process is 
is a long-term process. So while there may be a lot of people around the person who's grieving in the first few weeks, or maybe even the first few months, after that, people sort of break away. They break away. They for they get involved in in their more in their own lives again. They sort of feel assured that the person is going to at least you know make it through and and survive. And so they 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 don't often think of doing things, but. Um, if you can think of something, you know, six months, eight months down the road, and 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 still offer help, that that can be very much appreciated. Yeah. Um, I think that's important, Elisa, to yeah. definitely be there for the person later down the road. Not, I mean, be there at the beginning, but definitely don't forget about that person six yes. months or even a year after the death. Yes, and that can be that can be a really precious thing. I mean, I, that can be something appreciated almost more than anything else because you feel like you know you're cared about and and not forgotten, even though the the throngs have gone away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's really important. Also, in terms of the funeral at the very beginning, try to be at the funeral, if you possibly can. Um, people remember, they remember who, they remember who was there, they remember the hugs, they remember the caring, they may not remember the words you said, but they'll remember that you were there. And write a condolence letter instead of just sending a card. Your own thoughts, your own stories, your own memories of the person who died. Um, can be very precious, and the, per and the griever will probably read those things over and over again. And they won't forget them, definitely. They won't forget. These were some great tips this morning. Thanks. If you want more information from Elisa, you can check out her on the web. You can also pick up her book, The Grief Spiral, Loss and Growth. Thank Which you. Which is so coming much. out in paperback That's soon. That's right. I can't wait to read it either <laughs> in paperback. <laughs> right. All right, Elisa, yeah, thank yeah. you for being on, and you will be back next month to give us okay. some more topics. Okay. on a very difficult subject of grief and loss. Thank Stay you. with me. I'll be right back after these messages.